Okay, um, in the last two videos, we had obtained formulas for determining the lengths of curves. And from the uh, first video, we had determined that the length of a curve from x equal a to x equals b, s is simply the square root of 1 plus dy dx squared integrated with respect to x. And then in the last video, we obtain this formula for the curve length, and now this is when we have parametric equations where x is equal to some function of t, and y is equal to a different function of t. In this case, the length of the curve becomes this integral. We have the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared integrated with respect to t, going from t equal 1 to t equal 2. And in this video, we want to consider this kind of a problem. A particle is traveling, and the path of the particle is determined by these parametric equations. x equals 1 half times t squared. y equals 1 third of 2t plus 1 to the 3 halves power. So, while a particle is traveling at any value of t, plug it in here, plug it in here, we'll find out what the x and y coordinates of the particle are. And we're asked, from time t equals 0 to time t equals 4, how far has the particle traveled? So, clearly, this is the integral formula that we're interested in. The first thing we have to do, then, is find out what dx dt is and what dy dt is. So let's do that. dx dt Bring the 2 down times 1 half is 1. So that's just t. And dy dt, that's equal to 1 third. And you bring the 3 halves down. And that's times 2t plus 1. And the new exponent is 3 halves minus 1. And that's plus. 1 half times the derivative of what's inside, and that's just going to be 2. And these will cancel here, and the 2's cancel. So dy dt is just the square root of this. And in our formula, we have to know what dx dt is, and what dy dt is, and add them together. So it's going to be t squared plus this quantity squared, which is going to be t, t plus 1. So let's write our integral. S, let me get a little bit neater here, S is equal to the integral from t equals 0 to t equals 4, the square root t squared plus 2t plus 1 times dt. And it looks like we can rewrite that from 0 to 4, the square root of t plus 1 squared. Multiply that out, we have t squared plus 2t plus 1. We're okay with that. We're just going to do this step by step so we don't make any mistakes along the way, but that's going to be just the integral then of t plus 1 dt. Okay, so we want to integrate that. So s will equal t dt, that's 1 half times t squared t dt plus the integral of dt, that's just t. And t goes from 0 to 4. So s will equal, put 4 in, 4 squared is 16, divided by 2 is 8, plus 4. 
and we're subtracting zero here. So the particle travels 12 units then from the time t equals zero to t equals four, and the half of the particle is determined by these parametric equations here. So that's it. I hope you find it worthwhile and definitely come back and join us for some more videos and we'll try and work through some more problems.